Yo, what's going on guys? It's Anime One back here with a new video. And today I'm here with a rather interesting topic that, you know, I just came up with while posting a community tab. Full power Boroshiki and full power Kawashiki or Kawaki in the manga and Boruto that is taken over by Momoshiki. And the results which are in the screen right about right now did surprise me quite a bit. After watching this video, your thoughts on Boroshiki versus Kawaki will completely change. I can guarantee you that. But the first uh, corner or counter arguments for uh, people saying that Kawaki would win is simply because he has more of a stronger Otsutsuki inside of him than Boruto does. Well, that is completely false. The power that Kawaki and Boruto get are from their karmas. Uh, and as for, you know, their karmas, um, Karma of Seal provide equally stat level boost. The only the difference that come with Karma Seal are in their stage two, in which they grow horns, and in that stage, um, uh, will few people like Kawaki who managed to completely draw out uh, Ishiki's power uh, get abilities like Dai Kokuten and Sukuna Hikona. While Boroshiki or um, Boruto does not get those, he only gets a Byakugan. So that's one thing, but the most, at most parts uh, they are pretty much even when they use their Karma Seals. As we saw in the fight um, uh, that happened in the original canon series in the manga as well as anime now as for the fights of you know actual fighting why do i think boroshiki would win uh there are four reasons why i think boroshiki would win and i do think that all of them are pretty valid and logical and if you guys again have some kind of counter argument against these uh please comment down below i'd really love to uh, hear all of your Arguments are, you know, counter statements to all of these uh, things. Again, this is only a friendly batter that we are doing as fellow Naruto Boruto fans. Do not take this uh, seriously. Again, uh, things might change in the future as uh, Boruto unlocks his Jogan and Kawaki gets more and more powerful. So, yeah. So, the first uh, statement is uh, Boruto or Boroshiki could not use his karma up to its full extent. In the fight between Boroshiki and Kawaki, uh, we can clearly see that uh, Boroshiki was not absorbing Kawaki's fireball jutsu or any kind of uh, ninjutsu that he was throwing at him. The reason was simply because Boruto would wake up uh, via you know, absorbing too much chakra if uh, Momoshiki did use his karma seal up to his full extent. And because of that, he was not using his karma seal up to his full extent and could not really go all out. Now, as for the second reason why I think Boroshiki would win against Kawaki is because uh, Boroshiki was again holding back against Kawaki intentionally this time. While Kawaki was trying to kill Boruto, as we saw, he was clearly not holding back. It was, the same could not be same for Momoshiki who was taking control of Boruto's body, hence the name Boroshiki. Again, uh, Boroshiki was not uh, going all out because he did not want to kill Kawaki. He did not want to kill him because if he did, he would have spammed the you know, massive Rasengan. Again, you could argue that um, uh, Kawaki could absorb the massive Rasengans. But then again, the speed that Boroshiki delivers uh, massive Rasengans is you know, really, really fast. So uh, if he really wanted to, he could have got Kawaki with a surprise massive Rasengan. And then, you know, get killed him or if he really wanted to kill him. But again, Momoshiki did not want to kill Kawaki because um, he needed Kawaki as a sacrifice for the Ten Tails. And because of that, um, he could not kill Kawaki. And there was not going all out against Kawashiki as, you know, he, would, uh, he, he went all out against code and stuff you know he was spanning massive as Rasengan against them and again even against Naruto you know when Naruto was a little captive uh, he spammed the massive Rasengan to kill Naruto off well against Kawaki he did not do any of those things again he was holding back because he did not want to kill Kawaki while Kawaki wanted Boroshiki to die third argument that would I would uh, oppose against Kawashiki is that uh, he was uh, Boroshiki was extremely nerfed as well. While why I think that because you know again Boroshiki was spamming massive Rasengan's 
against Code and uh, Naruto. So, you know, those Rasengans do take a lot of chakra to form. It's not, you know, something that can be formed easily. And while Kawaki, who was, you know, recently juiced up by absorbing a massive Rasengan via his karma, got all of his chakra back. So, th it's fair to say that Kawaki was fully, who had fully recovered from his battle with, you know, previously against Code and Boroshiki now uh, by absorbing. Uh, the full as uh rushing big as rushing on that uh boroshiki landed on naruto or at least tried to and by absorbing that big of a rasengan via his karma seal it's pretty fair to assume that kawaki um had fully uh recovered by that much chakra and as we do know chakra is the source or um is one of the ways to be boost your physical stats and boroshiki or momoshiki could use uh Bor boruto's chakra to, you know boost his physical stats by a lot so it's fear to say that boshiki would have more of an advantage uh, than he had or he would not have been as much of nerfed as uh, he was in the original while fighting kawaki now as for the fourth and probably the most important uh, part of this video of why kawaki kawaki would lose to boshiki is well, Momoshiki could not go all uh, all out inside Boruto's body. Why, you may ask? We know that uh, during this uh, Kawaki and Boruto fight, Boruto was waking up inside of you know his own body and hence nerfing more Momoshiki a lot. From the start of their battle to the end, Momoshiki could not use all of his chakra reserves. Uh, or you know all of his you know everything that he had gotten because Borto was stopping him from doing so. Borto was slowly waking up and you know getting control over his body little by little, and once that was happening, well, uh, Momoshiki was losing control over Borto's body and could not fight to his full extent. This is probably the most important uh, point of the entire. Uh, 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 this video since you know Momoshiki could not fight up to his full potential again uh, even without that he gave Kawaki a pretty good fight he gave Kawaki a really 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 even fight if it was not for uh, Boruto to wake up uh, at all if Boruto completely was unconscious uh, without even having a bit of conscious inside of his body I do think Momoshiki would have defeated Kawaki uh, in that uh, 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 fight and he would have won and probably things would have not turned out so good he would have probably killed code as well so yeah guys um these are all my uh, arguments uh, of why i think Boroshiki would win against kawaki if you have any thoughts of your own of you know thinking you know you know this guy is thinking stupid nonsense you know all of his points are meaningless or anything like that um Free, feel free to comment down below man i i really do think that boroshiki would win again i was really shocked by the community post since uh, people were literally thinking that kawashiki could win but again pe people have their full rights of having their opinions on uh, any controls or stuff like this i i bet on my life that kishimoto planned this intentionally he like murfed uh momoshiki intentionally and let uh, kawaki have the victory over Boruto intentionally so that you know uh, both of the fandoms fan base could fight for all eternity <laughs> god damn it uh, that bastard again uh, guys uh, if you have any um thoughts on the topics or the you know uh statement that i said defending boroshiki and why he would win um comment down below uh, if you have any statement uh you know arguing that i would love to read all of your comments uh about this topic then again um uh, i'll be posting a new videos um pretty much every day almost uh only some days when uh things do get a little hectic i may not be able to post then again i'll be doing some manga reviews in this channel as well specifically one piece jujutsu kaisen and boy so these three are getting really good and really want to get into those three and share my reviews and thoughts with you guys uh, as well uh, about uh, the manga chapters and all that stuff uh yeah guys uh if you guys did like this video uh uh like it and then subscribe to the channel uh and share this video with as many friends as you have so that our channel can grow and uh that doesn't mean that i will not upload what if videos of course i'll, I'll be uploading what if videos uh on a daily basis just that i'll be doing you know the sort of chapter reviews and all that stuff 
on the sidelines as well just to you know make the channel a little more uh engaging since i do want to have discussion with you guys during uh all of these um <coughs> arguments that we are having right so yeah guys um uh it's 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 been anyway one and i've really enjoyed making this video specifically and see you guys in the next one uh and uh until then peace out guys keep on smiling and see you in the next video Peace.